Uh, so yes, yeah, so if I come up here and then go to this automation. So this is a, a good example here where I've got everything uh, primed to just launch automatically. So as soon as I change this here and I say, uh, uh, well, win here. Okay. So basically, as soon as I press that, I'm not pressing anything else. It's automatically generating all of this content. So I've got this. I liked it a lot. It was great. Win here. Uh, this is actually not the greatest uh, <laughs> character to choose when doing Amazon Polly. But uh, but basically, it kind of generates that. But automatically, it generates the Spanish, the German, and you know any other languages that you have set up to do that. And I can show you that quickly here. So basically, I've got this full auto setup. So basically, when a record's updated on this column, which is the United States column, it will automatically generate this audio. And actually, I, I don't like Brian. So I'm going to change Brian. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to change him for the the American one just always sounds better. So if I change it to let's, let's have Matthew uh, and then I come back again. So if I change that and then if I put another one here and then it should automatically generate that. So I liked it a lot. It was great. Win here. Okay, so now, so we very quickly kind of changed that uh, that automation uh, for the uh, for the one we want. But yeah, so it shows you that all of these things then then kind of continue, continue, continue. So here we then we have the audio, then we have Google Text Translate, then we have audio, then Google Text Translate, and then audio, and so basically generate, generate, generate. Um, so yeah, so basically it fires all of those things really quickly. So for example, if I change this one, we can see that automatically, bang, you know, it runs that automation. And so it then makes all of that happen beautifully. Then sentiment analysis that Chris mentioned before, we can then, you know, right by running the uh, the Amazon uh, sentiment analysis, we can then kind of see which one, which of these comments are positive and negative and neutral. And so we can then filter on those things just by using one of these headers here, for example. So I just want to see negative, for example. So instantly it will filter everything. Anything along the top here is then filtering all the content underneath. Again, another reason why it makes sense to put as much as possible in one grid, because you can then see all the content in one place and then filter appropriately. 